Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for short. And it's horror movie review time. Written and directed by Demian Rugner, When Evil Lurks might be one of those horror movies that you kind of just put on in a whim. Its basic premise doesn't sound particularly interesting, but it looks like it might have a darker edge. So why the hell not? And then you watch it and come away stunned by the experience. This is something else where any negatives are far outweighed by its positives and you just want to talk about it to anyone and everyone. How I'm doing the same here. Even if that means we're living some of the most harrowing horror scenes seen in all modern times. This is a Spanish spoken film so expect subtitles and it blends folk, supernatural and psychological horror. When Evil Lurks is not for the faint hearted. Featuring unforgettable imagery, pushing the boundaries of traditional horror and telling a truly depressing story. Which surrounds brothers Pedro, played by Ezequiel Rodriguez, and Jimmy, played by Demian Salomon, who live an isolated life on their farmhouse. After hearing gunshots late at night, they go out the next morning to discover the dead body of an unknown man. Well... We say the dead body, but it's more half his body, as it appears to have been torn in two. Nearby is a neighbor's house, so they visit, hoping to find out more. Maybe they heard something, maybe they saw something. But there instead make the discovery of a rotten. This is a name given to someone who has been possessed by a demon, which actually proves to be an apt name too, as those who are rotten become bloated with oozing sores all over their body. The first time you see the rotten, your stomach might turn. It is quite disgusting looking. And this poor soul begs to be killed naturally. And it is very tempting to give them exactly what they want once you look upon the mess in front of you. However, in this world, that is actually not a good idea. You see, even though they can possess, demons effectively become trapped inside our bodies. And the death of their host frees them to carry on causing carnage. So, alongside another neighbour, they decide to take the rotten far away, hey, move it out of the village, and dump it somewhere else, figuring that solves their problem. Stating the obvious, you know where it's going, of course it doesn't, and Carnage is well and truly unleashed upon their small town community. Hold on tight, things are about to get gory, all while the brothers try to find a way to stop the evil spreading. Hay un embichado en el pueblo. Estás asustando a mi familia. Lo vi con mis propios ojos, estuve con él. Esto va a ser un infierno. It is a really cool idea to use evil as an infection, even if when evil lurks doesn't always do the best job of explaining the how, why and what of it all. It's the one major criticism that I think can be levied at the story, as you are kind of just expected to just run with certain things as though they are matter of fact in this world. The thing is, I think it's fine, because it is a white knuckle ride that will be remembered for its intensity, the intensity of its tone, the tension constantly ramped up, the mistrust and fear that comes around every single corner, the sense of hopelessness and the feelings of revulsion. Evil has never been this communicable. Now, you don't want a lot of this spoiled for you, I'm telling you now, even though I, I think if I did, it wouldn't diminish the shock value, so I'm going to dance around a lot of the major parts here. Just be prepared for some truly ghastly moments of horror that look far too real. What really impresses is how the film continues to up the ante, and for example, the sight of a woman digging into the head of a child as though she's trying to get the last piece of candy out of a bucket is just one, just one moment that stays with you long afterwards. Now, it does slow down a bit in the second half, and while that is a great opportunity to catch your breath, I think the film does struggle to reg regain its momentum slightly. Although, again, it's hard to be too critical of this, as the break in chaos stops at becoming desensitising, and the final part of the movie is pretty mental. We have to find a beast. Before we start. tiempos de la fe se terminan rápido 
Overall, When Evil Lurks is a strong example of horror genre bending that has a compelling story using unoriginal elements to create something fresh and levels of gruesome horror that is simply unforgettable. You gotta check this one out. Didn't expect too much, as I said, based off the initial premise, but came away thoroughly impressed. It has negatives, but the positives far outweigh those to the point where you're just enjoying the entire ride. And when it ends, you kind of just left going, wow, that was something. When evil lurks, what do you reckon? You got any thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website where reviews, news and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.